Hi everyone and welcome to another video. So this is a very short video where we will see how to convert an Excel file into its PDF version. So let's get started. Here I have a sheet, I have a workbook to say with two sheets, sheet one and sheet two with similar kind of data. So it's a housing data as you can see. And I have close to, let's say, 100 rows. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this Excel sheet into its PDF version. So there are three methods using which you can do it. The first method is using the print option. The second is using save as option. And the third one is using export. So let's get to see all these three methods in detail. So let me just use the first method here. What I'm going to do is let me click on file and then I'll go to print. Okay. So here you have an option called print Microsoft print to PDF. All right. So this way you can actually export your Excel as a PDF as well. If you don't want to click multiple times, what you can also do is you can press control and P on your keyboard and it will automatically come up. Now on the right, you have your print preview. Now there are a couple of things you need to do before you convert your Excel to PDF in any case. Okay. So here, if you see, this is sheet two. Now sheet two, I can see 145 rows here. All right. So this is page four of six. I can see 145 rows here. When I scroll down to the next page, that is page five, you see that I'm not able to see the title anymore. I can see the data, but not the title. So what should I do? For that, I need to do a little bit of setting. Okay. And also you can see the alignment of the print area is a little different. So it's a bit towards the left. We need to align it to the center. Okay. So let me just go back. So before we print, all we have to do is go to the sheet. Okay. I'm going to sheet two in this case, go to page layout, click on margin. Okay. So this will show you the margin details. In order to change any of this, just click on this, you know, arrow on the corner. And here, just come to margins. And at the bottom, you will see there are two options, center on page. So we want our content to be centered in the page that it is going to be printed. Okay. And you can click on print preview here. It will show you the preview again. Let me just go back. I'll just click here, come to margins horizontal vertically and you click on OK. OK, this is the first step. The second step is I want all my titles, that is my header, you know, to be visible whenever the uh, Excel is converted to PDF. So for that, I'll just click on print titles. And here I have an option called rows to repeat at top and columns to repeat at left. So we do not want any columns to be repeated, right? We just want the columns to be printed one by one, but rows. When I say rows, I mean the titles. Okay. So I want the rows to be repeated. Which row do I want to be repeated? I want the first row to be repeated whenever it gets printed. So all I'll do is I'll click here I'll, and I come here and just click once again. And automatically the reference to these cells are updated here. Okay. So this is basically selecting the first row. And once you have updated this, just go ahead and click on OK. Now let's get to how you export it. All you have to do is press control P and this will give you an option to print to PDF. You can choose settings here. If you want to print the entire workbook, that is both the sheets. Okay. You can choose print entire workbook. If not, if you only want to print the active sheet. So currently we were in sheet two. That's why only sheet two is showing up. Okay. You can print that or else if you just want to print a selection, so for example, our cursor had selected only this last name and you know, Groudon, these two cells. That's why it's only coming up under the selection. So in this case, we'll print the entire workbook. All right. All we have to do is go ahead and print, click on print. Once you click on print, it will ask you to choose a destination. You can choose a destination and you know, we can say exported Excel to PDF. And you can see the save as type automatically comes as PDF. 
all right i'm not saving it for now let me just go back and show you the next method click on file and then you have the second option which is save as so if you click on save as you will get an option to click on the browse button here click on browse button again i will choose my destination folder i'm choosing desktop here and now you can see again save as type is currently excel workbook so here you have to come click here and there you will find an option called pdf all right you click on pdf and you can just click on save let me just show you how it looks like i have clicked on save and it has automatically opened my pdf for you okay so here you go i have three pages in total okay i'm scrolling down and there you have it so it has saved the active uh, sheet as an excel file sorry as a pdf file okay let me go and close it now the third method is you can click on file come down and click on export okay so you will get an option to create a pdf slash xps document all right just go ahead and click on create pdf choose your destination and similarly your save as type will be selected as pdf go ahead and click on publish and it says a file already exists that's okay we want to replace it yes and you can see the active sheet which we were in is exported with all the titles here all right now you can play around with this there is another option called say share as well so share is basically if you want to attach your excel as a pdf in one of the emails that you are sending so you can use it using the share option as well so i hope you liked the video if you enjoyed the video go ahead and click on the like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and click on the subscribe button and if you have any doubts if you have any feedback please post it on the comment section as well thank you very much